Hi, welcome. Um, we have, uh, we can do two things in this video. One of them is a question on the forum about Plasma and encryption. So can we do a test run and see how fast encrypting goes, but not to encrypting this way, but the manual partition. Because we know already in another video, this is taking around 18 seconds. If we do this encrypt system and then okay, pass a phrase in here, but it improves in time to eight seconds. If you do manual partitioning, but then do something, uh, well, let me shut off some of these social media things. Pop-ups are gone. Now, if you have this line, you say, hey, there's no hard disk. Yes, there is. Use your magic button. Free space, create. And I think we talked about a space of 500, which is too much, but it's okay. Do not encrypt your 500 megabyte X2 encrypt. Do not do that. And mount it inside your boot. Okay, so your boot, the files in there are not going to be encrypted, which is um, uh, making sure that actually we're gonna be booting faster. Um, but you'll have a notice later on. We'll see. Calamares will tell you something. Now our data, our data is important, right? So our data is going to be encrypted and I'm not gonna make a home directory. This is not working yet, home directories. Just take the root. So the rest is the primary X4 encrypted root. Okay. These two things, when you run them, X2 boot and then lux slash is root. Next, this message come up, comes up, you just read it and then you say the site, click it away. And then you just go ahead as usual. And then we have to wait for the installation. So I'll be right back. All right, let's have a look and we'll restart the engines. Now we need to count a little bit in our head. It just takes about around eight seconds for Arc Linux. Now Arc Linux Plasma is a little bigger. So I had this what if, does this change the, the boot up time, you know? So this is normal, Arc Linux B, and then, then we got our password because we made the boot unencrypted. And in once the boot now into the root and the root is encrypted. So starting from the enter, which is now zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, it boots up in around seven to eight seconds. So that's your uh, one thing answered for a user online on the forum, encryption time, right? Timing, to time is to know. And the other issue is for somebody else who thankfully reported this issue to us. There is this application called Discover Software Center, which actually we haven't been using, but um, we use of course uh, pseudo Pacman and Yay and stuff like that. But there is a, an application here, Discover. And I wanted to share with you how uh, we, we fix these things. No application backends found, please report to your distribution. That was the message on uh, the forum. Now, I want you to be self-reliant. Of course, uh, ask your questions, but how do you solve things like that? Nobody tells me, right? I share the knowledge afterwards, but nobody teaches me. So how do you go about figuring out what's wrong? Well, you open up, open up um, the update. Let's see if it's installed. It's spamming because this time, last time I installed the Plasma full and this one is the Plasma min, so the minimal one. So my guess is that I'm missing, <laughs> which is good, I mean, choice, right? I'm missing um, PAMEC AOR. And that's how I found it. Yeah, because 
Pemeke War, you can say a lot about it, but it's a great tool to figure out how things work. What is installed? What can I find? Where can I find it? So all these things. Oh, it is installed. Pemec AOR installed, it says. So the only thing I need to figure out is to launch it. Was it update? Yeah, update. That's the word you need to type here. Software update. Okay. So this is Pemec. He wants to update something, but never mind. Now, you may start with discover that probably wrote would have done the trick you know discover software center but even so if you run this and the name would be different then a control shift escape will tell you as well here in the task manager you'll see some kind of reference to whatever you have open all the processes that you run must have some line in here so you would have found Plasma and Plasma Discover as well, like that. And then I went look to type in, well, Discover, basically. Discover, and I found this word here, to Discover. But then you need to double click it. Let's magnify it. So I read all these things, I said dependencies, and then suddenly optional dependencies, package kit, dash qt5 to manage packages from arch linux repository is not installed um, by default it will be on next release in september but this piece of the puzzle seems to be there it's not optional at all it's required if it's not there you get this error message well this backend there is no backend thing and some other stuff what we're definitely going definitely going to install is this one right the package git qt5 is now on the list of packages. It's now on Arch D GitHub. It's not optional. It's required. So that's how I figured it out. And that's how you can figure anything out you come across. You say, okay, missing something. How do I find it? Because it's fun to work the other way around from a bare system with no, um, well, where you're missing all the pieces of the puzzle but you figure out what piece of the puzzle you need and this piece needs another piece and so on dependencies discover and this is what you get then that's much much nicer i suppose you can choose here all these things these applications go in here for games why not for games right and simulation, and sports, and strategy, all kinds of stuff, multimedia. I mean, this looks more lovely than ever. Now, Discovery is working because the backend was not optional at all, it was needed. And that's my solution for the other fix I've told on the forum. All right, enjoy.